Hello and welcome to another day in paradise and welcome to another edition of the unapologetic Negropian. In today's video, JT the bigger figure is a self-professed businessman, a self-professed artist and a self-professed all-round good man. But he is also a self-professed thief. Yes, video has resurfaced of JT the bigger figure boasting about his exploits as a robber. Now this has not come as any surprise to me but of course there are a lot of people who haven't heard about his self-professed exploits into criminality. We all knew that he was a criminal of some sort. We all knew he had a criminal past. The reality is he has grown up and lives and works in a genre of music and entertainment where it pays to be a criminal. Stealing the chains of other gangsters used to be something that he used to do without a second thought. But of course, like any job, he had to move up the ladder. So he went into the world of scamming people. The industry which is far more profitable that he can do from anywhere on this planet and not get caught by the American police. After all, JT the bigger figure is a charismatic man. He knows how to sell himself. This is something he has done not just to his uh, homies in the hood in the United States of America but also to the African continentals in Burkina Faso and now in Kenya. So in today's video we're going to go through this clip that I found. We're going to analyze it because it exposes more than just JT being an outright dishonest person. It also exposes something more about the types of people that he is targeting and the types of people that his fan base consists of. So we're going to take a look at this clip right now but before I do I'm going to ask you to please like, subscribe, share, click the bell notification and please consider supporting the channel on our Patreon link in the description. Yeah, how they gonna rob a robber? Man, who is that? T-Man, T-Man, 447, tell them, folks. How you gonna rob a robber? Man, I come from a robber background, man. Like, you can't rob no It's a robber, man, cool. How you gonna rob a robber, man? I come from a robber background, man. Like, you can't rob a robber, man. Come on, bro. And I'm not a scammer. I'm a robber. Scammers lie. Robbers take. This is just a different. But when y'all be putting it out there about me, don't say scammer, because that means I'm lying about something. A robber take your shit. Me that, nigga. That's mine. I done that. I been doing that. I take your shit. That's mine. I done that. I been doing that. I know how to do that. Nigga, that's mine. I done that. I been doing that. I know how to do that. To who though? To who deserve it? So put that out there. Hell, you from San Francisco, feel my rob zone. I'm from a robbery type background. Hell, yes, the news. I'm on the news of the whole country of Kina Faso. They talking about me in villages right now. They talk about me in Bobo, Kaya. They talk about me in Wadadugu. All through this country, it's big news that Americans think I'm crazy for moving here. And there you go, you heard it for yourself. Yeah, how they gonna rob a robber? Man, who was that? T Man, T Man, 447, tell them, folks. How you gonna rob a robber? Man, I come from a robber background. You cannot rob a robber. Of course, he's a robber. Oh, of course, anywhere else, this is not something normal people would boast about and who's trying to be endorsed by his fans. This says a lot about the types of people who his fan base consists of. Maybe he believes that the people that he does rub, these uh, other gangsters, uh, small time criminals, um, other rappers, he believes that these people are fair game, that he's able to rub them because it's highly likely that they got their money in a criminal way as well. It doesn't matter in the slightest. 
simply because it shows us that this is a man that cannot be trusted by anyone. Hey, come on, bro. And I'm not a scammer. I'm a robber. Scammers lie. Robbers take. Scammers lie. Robbers take. Now, if you are educated to GED levels, then you would have perhaps realized that this man is talking absolute rubbish. If you haven't been educated to such levels, I'm not going to put you down. So I will simply explain to you the reasons why what he just said is so contradictory, he should be called out for it. Anyone with half a brain cell will know that you can rob someone by conning them. It's extremely simple for me to see that. And I know that the vast majority of the people watching this video now with two brain cells to rub together will know that I'm telling the truth. Clearly, robbing and conning are interchangeable. You can lie and be a robber. You can take and be a con man, of course. There is no difference between a con man and a robber. They are both dishonest people. He is now being honest about being dishonest, which makes him dishonest. But he didn't say this because he's silly or because he is inept when it comes to his English. He knows what he's saying. He's not stupid. This is a guy who had entrepreneurial skills from 1990, okay? This guy has been in the game for a very long time. I am sure that when he goes on these videos and you hear him speaking, and he's speaking with absolute hood in his voice, the hood language. I'm sure he's putting that on and he's putting it on for a particular type of people, just like Tupac Shakur. He used to put on his accent. Yeah, he was born in the hood, but this guy, he got brought up by an extremely classy woman. He also went to a very good educational facility when he was younger. I'm sure you guys may not want me talking about him in a way which may malign him, but the whole point is, I'm trying to say, is that Tupac Shakur was a lot more intelligent uh, than what you may think. I think JT, the bigger figure, is exactly the same. He's putting on all this, okay? He knows what he just said, but he knows that there are a particular type of people, the types of people that he is actually trying to con, right? He knows that those types of people like those types of words. He knows that his fan base, the fan base that follow him religiously, won't just understand it, but will totally believe it 100% because it came from JT Bigger Figure. I've had many African Americans email me and send me messages and tell me, oh, I have no idea how this guy is scamming people. Who on earth would send their money to this guy. Have you listened to the way he speaks? Of course, most of us know that the vast majority, the majority of African Americans are well educated, they are well spoken. In fact, most of the people that sent me those messages were female and a lot of them said that they couldn't believe that this man was able to rake in this amount of money. And the reason why he's able to do so is because he does have that credibility, that celebrity status that everybody else who is under him wants. They're all looking for that. They're all looking to be able to take their photographs standing next to Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. Everybody wants that. And all of a sudden, we have a platform where people can contact this man directly and he's able to build relationships with these people and these people buy into it and he needs to be able to communicate to these people that he is a trustworthy person and that's the way he does it he does it by speaking their language speaking the way that they understand and that is going to win them over a robber take your shit I done that. I've been doing that. I like your shit. I done that. I've been doing that. I know how to do that. To who though? To who deserve it? That was a very important comment that you heard him just say. To who though? To who deserves it? So you know that he has been scamming a lot of people and those people who 
are watching this video right now, those people who have already watched those videos, left comments about their experiences of being robbed by JT, the bigger figure, those people will know what I am talking about. This is a man who will bring you in first, take your money and then spit you out. He's like a male version of Kathy, but he's much more smoother and he has much more attraction power. He is going to win a lot more people over simply because he's a bigger personality than Art Kathy ever was and ever will be. So it's fair to say that JT, the bigger figure, doesn't see those people who he is robbing as being people that should be respected. He sees these people as being people who are dumb enough to give him money. If they are dumb enough to give him the money, then do you know what? You're dumb enough to have your money taken from you. And that's exactly what he is saying with that comment. Clearly, this man is very proud of what he has achieved over the years. He has gone from stealing chains to now raking in enough money to build houses, buy property, buy land, and move his family half a world away across the Atlantic Ocean back home to Africa so they can live the rest of their lives out without fear of being prosecuted by the feds. JT, the bigger figure, is not in the situation that he, that he professes himself to be in. He says that he is a multimillionaire. He says that he doesn't have any problems with money whatsoever. This I just don't believe. I don't believe that because I think those people who have a name to uphold just would never even risk doing something, defiling their own name by rubbing a couple of hundred dollars here and a couple of thousand dollars there if they were multi-millionaires. It doesn't make sense. He does say this many, many times throughout the videos that he, has, that he has made in reply to the videos that I made. He has made videos saying that he is 100% soluble. He doesn't need the money. He doesn't need to monetize his uh, YouTube account. But in all fairness, the reality is the way he speaks on his YouTube account, no one would ever advertise on his videos anyway. So I think he does this any on purpose. He just demonetizes it because he knows no one is going to advertise on his on his page. Um, <clears throat> no one is going to monetize on videos with people saying the F word and the N word every two seconds. Yeah, and ain't nothing that I'm doing now because I don't need to doesn't rob you because he doesn't need to, which basically means that when he needs it, when he needs to, he is going to rob you. And you are not going to know what situation he's going to be in. He can easily put himself into a situation where he can lose a lot of money. So how do you gain it back? Well, you gain it back by taking it from somewhere else. I mean, no one is prodding him to say these types of things. He's saying it all by himself. He's saying, he's telling you, right now, if I need the money, I am going to take it from you, but you're not going to know. We, and he's already told you that he is a robber. So he is a dishonest person. He is a person who grew up in a dishonest manner, making money dishonestly. So he has it inside of his blood. This is not a person who's going to change his rhythm all of a sudden because he's got money. Okay, we all know a lot of billionaires who go out stealing money still. Look at what George Soros did. <laughs> Look at what George Soros did to the British government. I mean, I think most of us already know this, but he robbed a lot of money from them. And he was a multi, multi-millionaire at the time as well. All because you have money, that doesn't mean that you wouldn't steal it from somebody. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna steal your money. I've got millions anyway. It doesn't work that way. The thing is, I'm not trying to detract JT, the bigger figures fans, because they will all know this already. As a matter of fact, if anything, his fan base will grow because of the video you just watched, which is quite sad really, because a lot of those people who will be his fans after that type of video will be young, impressionable kids in the hood who believe that this is the only way out. Clearly, it isn't. I've spent a lot of time in Co-op City back in the early 1990s and I have seen lists on the wall of Harry S. Truman High School, right there in the West Bronx, of 
plenty of students that had full ride scholarships to Harvard and Yale and all of these Ivy League universities. These kids have come out of some of the worst poverty stricken neighborhoods in the whole of the United States. There are plenty of kids who come out of these backgrounds who make it go on to be extremely successful. The sad thing is, is that these ones who are being really successful, those kids who are going from South Central, who are moving up to UCLA to get their medical degrees and to get their doctorates, they don't make YouTube videos professing about what they have achieved. They don't do that. All they do is they work and they allow their work to, to do the talking. So it's a shame. It would be good to have more of those people speak out more and show other young African diasporans that if they can do it, you can do it. Like I said, this is not for those people who are already his fan base because of course it won't make a difference to them but this is for those people who was considering in investing in Africa into one of JT the bigger figures businesses well you just heard it for yourself he has come from a rubbing background if he needs the money he will take it from you and um, he doesn't like you he thinks it doesn't respect you whatsoever. So if you're stupid enough to give him the money, he will take it from you. And then he'll use that as an excuse to say, hey, you deserve to get robbed. JT, the bigger figure, is not the only YouTuber out there scamming money and treating diasporans back in the United States and pretty much throughout the diaspora like they are idiots. No, there are plenty of them out there and I've made videos on quite a few of them as well. We all should be learning now how to start focusing on building our own empires and we can build these empires ourselves without sending money to people like Art Cathy and Quasi Boyd and JT Bigger Figure. We can do it ourselves because we have that um, because most of you, especially most of you African-Americans, you have the brains to do so. You have the brains and you also have the bravery to do that. So if you want land, do your research online, make your own phone calls, travel Africa, take a look at what you can find, visit the small villages, speak to the chiefs yourself and build relationships. This is the way it really works. You could end up getting free land that way if you are planning to start up something which is going to generate money for the village. So go ahead, knock yourselves out. You don't need to give your money to scumbags like JT Bigger Figure. Have any of you guys invested in JT Bigger Figure's businesses? Have any of you guys thought about buying land from JT Bigger Figure or buying property in, in any way? Um, have any of you guys ever sent money to JT Bigger Figure and not had anything back in return? Please don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section. It would be really good to hear from you. So that's it for today from me. I would like to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'd like to give an extra special thank you to my Patreon subscribers. Thank you and I will see you in the next one. Until the next time, please think twice. Tarara bit.